There we go. Oh, there's one of those drones right there. That what's no before you fly? What's the no before you fly? Is that uh, hey, this isn't as simple as just grabbing a, a drone and you get to uh, buzz it around town. You got to know some stuff. Exactly. You, one, you need to know: um, is it required to register your your drone with the FAA before flying? Depending on what size and weight. Um, know where you can fly and where you can't fly, but then also knowing exactly how to fly so you don't lose your drone once it's in the air. Is, do you need courses when it comes to... Uh... No, you don't need courses, but you do need to um, do a little research and make sure you're buying a quad or a drone that's um, equivalent to your experience level. Um, we always try for a newcomer to get them to start with something smaller, fly it around the house so it's not going to disappear. Right. And then move up from there. My brother last year, uh, one of my brothers last year, got a drone for his kid. And they live out in the Oklahoma National Forest, you know, oh. the Ocala area. Yes. He, uh, and my, you know, he's, he's a man. So there's no reason to look at directions, right? <laughs> and he gets this thing and immediately he's, he plays with it first. His son doesn't even get a chance to touch okay. it. He goes, I hit a button. And all of a sudden the things just shoot straight up and then... <laughs> takes off and just disappears and never found the thing again, oh, ever good. again. Yes. It got, it got lost in the middle of the forest. Really? So what happened? What button was that that he ended up uh, pushing? Do you even know? The wrong one, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so you, these. Uh, but, but the interesting thing about these uh, drones too is that you do have to reg you don't have to register all of them. No, um, they have to be a certain weight, um, it, and the more they have on them, like the GPS tracking systems and the cameras and things like that, you have to be aware of what the rules and, and requirements are. So uh, definitely go online, and uh, we always tell people to to do that search and see if it's required. Most drones now will have a, a notice inside the box that said, you must register with the FAA. Um, what, how popular are these things now? Extremely. Go Just flying off the shelves? Just flying, off, yes. Um, all the way from our little pocket drones uh, to your, um, your professional grade. Uh, very big with your property appraisers, your real estate agents, and, and other, you know. Yeah, because they're getting drones now to, uh, the, they hook nice cameras up to the bottoms of these yes. things. And take you know these aerial uh, picture videos of their properties, like you were saying, real estate agents. Exactly, and it changes everything. It does. Um, it it looks, but those but those drones, that's in the like the three, four, five thousand dollar range, right? Uh, we we start those types of drones. We start in the seven hundred dollars. Oh, seven hundred. Yeah, we okay. have some drones where the camera systems and and are a little bit. They're actually more expensive than the quad itself. So if you were to purchase the camera system separately, it's going to be more expensive than the actual drone. Uh, Susan, what about comparing the quads to the other drones out there that have uh, more um, uh, propellers? propellers on them? You know, that's a technical question. Okay, um, I don't know if you I, were into the technical. Yeah, I'm not so much on the technical side. I can sell them and I can give you the basics, but um, I do have some sales techs that, and you know, they not only sell them, but they repair them. They do everything with these things, and so. So, do you guys have, or do they have the drones now that can follow your kid on the soccer field? Yeah. Like you just hit a button, you don't have to worry about it, and oh, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Because I, I know the technology's out there, but I, I don't know how you know feasible it is for the average consumer. Because they have the cameras now, they'll sit on the tripod that'll sit there that, and right. follow your kid. But I would imagine you could do the same thing with a drone. Y you end up with um, invasion of privacy issues when you do something like that, because you have to have permission from all the other parents that are on the uh, field. To videotape their kid. To, yes. Oh, I see. And that's why, you know, a lot of people will fly their drones around their, their own residence, but they have to be really careful about their neighbors. You can't fly over somebody else's house. You can't fly into their yard, especially if you have a camera on your drone. Can't just hover in their backyard. No, can't do that. That's that's frowned upon. Um, what about, has there been a downtick in your traditional remote control uh, vehicles and stuff like that because of the drones? Or... Or that that's it just added to, to yeah the, yeah it just added to it so now they look like oh I got to get a fleet I'm gonna have my remote control boat I got my remote control car my truck and my drone and I'm ready to go exactly now you just got to sync them all up that's yeah exactly and that's why we have a rewards program at Hobby Town this is a great lead in they perfect because the more you spend the more points you get the more points you get the more coupons you get so you can just keep spending more and more money. That has got to be the. There you go. How do you work at Hobby Town USA and grow up? 
or do you never you grow up? Don't. How long you been in the hobby industry? I have been in the hobby industry for a year and three months. That's it. Where did you come from, uh, from uh, there? Real Before estate. That? Real estate <laughs> in the hobby. Real estate. Look at you. <laughs> exactly. Um, it's interesting. The story. My sister owns Hobby Town USA. She owns the one in Tampa and she okay. owns the one in Brandon. Um, and she was looking for a manager and I was looking for a career change. And so I was looking to scale back and slow down a bit. And does she, does well, she have to constantly get on you about, uh, Hey, quit playing pool and get back, <laughs> get back on the floor and do some selling. <laughs> Not so much. And that's what, ma- that's what makes it so nice is I love everything in the store. But I'm not a true, I shouldn't say this, but I'm not a true hobbyist where right. I don't fly, I don't drive the cars or anything like that, but I love the customers who come in. So, What other stuff, to, uh, kinds of stuff do you guys have at Hobby Town? Oh, we have so much. RC is a big part of our, of our business, but um, we carry science, um, everything science. Um, we, Ooh, so rocket building uh, your own rockets and... Yes, we carry the Estes line for rockets. We also carry the Pinewood Derby for the Boy Scouts, Cub Scouts. Um, so we carry their whole line of Pinewood um, Arduino for robotics. We carry puzzles and models, um, all the paints that go with the models. We carry train sets all the way from N gauge up to O gauge. We uh, and toys. We have a lot of toys. I I think it would be dangerous for me to walk into your store. I you think come I th- check it out. I think yeah. I'd I'd walk into your store excited, and then I'd walk out divorced. <laughs> I have a feeling before I know it, I would I would be Just, I'd be dropping way too much money in there. <laughs> bring cash, not your credit card. Then it's smart. not trackable. <laughs> Very smart. <laughs> That's what I uh, uh, we were just talking about this the other day because uh, you know on the side I do you know weddings and gigs right. and stuff like that, and so people will tip you, and you know so. So do we t- do I take my tip money and put it into the family till you know just immediately turn it over to her like I do all my sure. other checks mm-hmm. or does that get to go into a different fund oh, and I get yeah. and I was actually surprised she goes you know you should keep some of that you know for That's nice yeah it was very nice of my very wife cool. to allow me to keep some of my money <laughs> how, how very generous of her yeah. well thank you so much for stopping by the studio today I guess here in, in a couple minutes we're gonna go downstairs we're gonna cut downstairs and you yeah. guys are gonna do a little uh, demo down there yes sir so if you were tuned in earlier to the show, you saw that we had Hobby Town USA in here. They're uh, Northdale Mabry, 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 and they brought in some goodies. They brought in some uh, RC vehicles. Uh, where are we going to start here, Susan? Uh, we're going to start with the drone. Start with the drone, with the drone. With the drone. inside. If you guys break something, that'll be hilarious. <laughs> You know what it feels like, Cords? It, it feels like you're in a Terminator movie and all of a sudden one of them, one of those drones found you and is now sizing you up, getting ready to annihilate you. It looks very controlled. So I see this has a camera at the bottom of this one too, Susan. Yeah. What? What? Uh, is, is this one of the seven hundred dollar models? Is no, this is um, one nineteen. What? One hundred nineteen. One nineteen. One hundred nineteen dollars. I can get one of these. And you upload your software onto your cell phone, and you can attach it to the, the controller, and you can watch it. You can fly either by the controller, or you can fly this by. That is amazing. Very controllable. What kind of range? Further than you can see it is the range. That's that is some range. All right. So that's a hundred, a hundred nineteen dollars, uh, and that includes this uh, controller that comes yeah. along with it. Yes, sir. Sure does. All right. Everything in the box. And then you said you can also download an app right onto your phone. Onto control, your phone. Control there. <coughs> exactly. All right. Mm-hmm. What what's next? What do we have here? This is a Team Associate Nomad DB8, a scale. Eight scale? All right. Oh my God. That, that reminded me of those, uh, the commercials. Those videos they're doing with that Tesla power button or whatever. As soon as you take off. This isn't Radio Shack's radio controlled car. Yeah.
You know, we've got that area on back cords, you know, that uh, retention <laughs> pond that's, that's dry. Right. You can plop a couple of these things in here. I think Johnny was saying that he has a RC car that he was thinking about bringing in today to race it. But it's not in this category. All right, so uh, what are, like top speed of this thing? About 40 miles an hour. 40 miles an hour, and how much does something like that go? Uh, starts at about 509. Starts at 509, and, if, and this and is And it requires a four-cell battery. They start at about 100. All right, and the battery 100. And the chargers start at uh, $25 and up for a LiPo charger. Uh, High-power charger is about 60. So you're looking about, you're looking about May, six, May, May I? Yes. Up? Mm -hmm. All right. But when, when true hobbyists, they, 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 they don't buy these things and just... And that's it. There, there's always little things to add on, right? All yeah. kinds of accessories. So, like, this came with different suspensions, so it changed out the rate for the racing suspension, so it's fully adjustable. Okay. It has uh, shock oil in it. It keeps the uh, debris off of the shaft here by, with the cover, the dust covers. Uh, as you can see, there's clay on it. I'd go and drive it at the clay track and jump it around, knock it into stuff. Now, if you're a novice, if you're somebody like me, if I were just to grab this thing and just go, would I be able to, you know, would I get it down within a matter of seconds or would I likely break a couple of things before I figured it out? Well, you break a couple of things before you break the car. At least. All right, well, that's good. I'll break a couple of things before I break the uh, car. Okay. Well, uh, all right. Yes, yes, of course I do. Ha! <laughs> so the <laughs> Found the throttle. Found the throttle. is away from you. All right. For you. And steering, if you look at the controller, this is left, this is right. So. And the battery just died. Oh, and of course, right as I go to. That's uh, okay, because we can flip you to the small one right behind you. Yeah. Oh. you well, it's probably one. best. I think that was the universe going nobody. You uh, don't don't hand them that kind of uh, equipment. You don't break it. So we'll we'll give you the little one. Okay. Um, that same little one has the battery. Same. Yep. Same. All right, backwards there. This is your speed. Yeah, it is. Now this one is a two-wheel drive, so it's a little heavy in the back end of it, so the wheels are spinning on it. Well, you can go out on the church carpet out here. Oh, I've already oh, got you know, a chain you, you, you can drive it super well. <laughs> well. I'm good at doing donuts. There we go. That's, that's the visual I'm looking for right there. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much. Uh, Hobby Town USA, located on uh, Dale Mabry, for coming in and bringing some toys for us uh, today. Uh, what time is it? What time? What time do you got? Uh, I have quarter to nine. Quarter to nine. Well, we, we have time. We still have more uh, show. So thank you so much for uh, coming in. You're welcome. It was our pleasure. And we're going to head back upstairs. Well, I'm going to head back upstairs with Johnny. We'll talk about a couple of uh, things that are uh, in the news today. And if you're looking for some cool stuff uh, this holiday season, make sure you check out Hobby Town USA on North Dale Mabry here in uh, Tampa. All right.